the people. Well, I was excited about coming back to Penyan because every time I'd been here, um, uh, everyone was so friendly. Uh, it was so easy to get around. Now, even though we didn't have public transportation here, you could walk every place. Um, it was before the plaza, so all the stores were right down on Main Street. Um, you go into a store and everybody knew your name and treated you royally. Um, you were going to buy a vacuum cleaner. Uh, they would say, oh, take it home and try it out. If you don't like it, bring it back. Um, it was just something, and there was something about uh, being married to Fred. Uh, it, was, it was a funny thing. People would say, oh, you're Freddie Dugan's wife. And they called him Freddie. And of course, here I felt I had married a lawyer, and I, wasn't, and I had never called him Freddie. Um, but he, it was always Freddie Dugan's wife. Um, he went off to Buffalo to take the bar exam and left me with one child and pregnant for another um, in an apartment. He said, well, just go downtown and, and take out some insurance on our meager belongings. So I went down, and I felt so important here. I was going to buy insurance. Walked into Dick Morgan's insurance office, and it announced that I was Mrs. Dugan, <laughs> and um, that I had come to buy insurance. And the secretary just kind of turned around and yelled at Dick Morgan, said, Freddie Dugan's wife is here, <laughs> and she wants to buy insurance. And so it was one of these things that after a while I got used to, but it, and it was a very warm uh, part of living in Penyan. People, everybody knew everybody, and the, it was such a great sense of community. I think that still exists today, don't you? Mm -hmm. This is that Penyan decided to have a foreign language elementary school program, and they were just going to start with the fourth grades, and they needed someone to teach Spanish and someone to teach French. And so that I was asked if I would do the Spanish and Molly Strong did the French. Not only did we have the fourth grade, we also had a sixth grade class to do. And it was fun because it was an oral, oral approach. And um, I had to develop the whole curriculum. And I had never taught, and I had never taught fourth grade. <laughs> so, it was hard to get down to that level. Um, For this program, you didn't need any education courses, because this was a special. I think it would have helped if I'd had uh -huh. some elementary mm -hmm. education courses. So no that, requirements. So. But um, this was an experimental program. But at least I knew what I didn't know, so that I could go to the principals and say, you know, is this, am I doing all right? Is this what I should be doing? And we had an awful, awful lot of fun with the class. Um, children went on, and many of them accomplished what was supposed to be accomplished, and that was when they were in, went into high school. They were one year ahead. And so they went right into Spanish two in high school. Um, so that's how I got into into teaching Spanish. And that was eight years you did that? I don't know. I only did that two years. Two years teaching two Spanish. Years. Right. I only had planned to do it one year. Mm -hmm. um, and, th and then they hired a teacher. She got sick, so I had to come back and do it again. Took, I took the fourth grade on, on to fifth grade. That's okay. what I did. So I did that one year. Two years. <laughs> Two years, okay. Yeah. And then the public relations is next? How did you get into public relations? 